What's up, y'all? Red Pill Vegan. This ought to be interesting. There's a hurricane that was supposed to hit the East Coast over this weekend, and right now it's Wednesday. Apparently it's not gonna hit up here as much as they thought it was, but I'm gonna walk into this grocery store and try to see if I can get a glimpse at what products are sold out and what's still sitting on the shelf. What do people get for the emergency, emergency situation that never materialized? I have a feeling they haven't had a chance to restock all the shelves yet, so let's, let's get in here and take a look. All right, first thing that's gonna sell out is cases of water. This place was even sold out of vitamin water. <laughs> they had some six packs of Fiji, but uh, you might get lucky and find a baby water or a gallon of water in the baby section by the diapers. All right, next up, when I first walk into a grocery store, I always like to roll down the produce section. And you may notice that it's stocked up better than ever because people don't wanna buy a bunch of fresh vegetables if they're about to lose power. Now, I'll explain at the end of this video why I think that's a losing strategy. And they also had a bunch of cases of bananas. Looks like people really weren't even buying bananas that much. So I rolled into the main aisles, and as you can see, the first display that I saw was granola bars. Granola bars sold very well, followed by tuna, tuna fish. Sold out pretty quick. All right, next up, the meal in a can Chef Boyardee style food. I recommend you avoid the meal in a can processed junk food and the canned tuna. Now this next comparison I'm about to make is pretty fascinating. They had abundant stock of canned beans, like organic canned beans. Most of them are plain, some of them are chili beans. They have a couple different varieties. They had all kinds of canned beans, except when you went down the aisle a little bit further to the, the baked beans with the bacon and the smoke flavoring and the sugar, the baked beans were sold out. Incredible. People didn't want the healthy beans, they want the junk food beans. So I decided to make my way over to the dried bean section. And what do you know? They had more dried beans than you could eat in a month. So I picked up this four pound bag of pinto beans which seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> All right, y'all, enough of that nonsense. Back at the house, about to get a little bit of a nutritarian style meal going. You see what vegetables I've got there. And we're gonna crack this open from earlier today. Cook some pinto beans, what do you know? Let's make it happen. All right, looks like we got everybody in the pool. Let's get that going. We're gonna chop up some onions to go with those beans. <laughs> what can I say, y'all? I like to eat a lot, so I'll probably fire a few bowls just like this once all those veggies are done. But yeah, I've been liking this meal a lot. Just beans, black pepper, lots of onions, maybe a pinch of salt, or to be honest with you, man, I like that with ketchup. Just playing ketchup on that, so good. All right, y'all, it's getting a little late. I think I'm gonna wrap this up by saying, don't let a hurricane be an excuse for you to stop eating healthy. Stop eating fresh fruits and vegetables just because you think you might lose power is not a winning strategy. Don't buy what everybody else is buying. Now, if you're in the direct path of the storm, you might have to be a little more cautious than I'm being today. But here's a tip. Break out some tubs. Do a little meal prep ahead of time. Put it in a cooler with some ice. And then you'll be doing a lot better off than eating Chef Boyardee out of a can. So skip the processed junk food, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Good luck. Red Pill Vegan, next.